Here we are, Bridesburg. This, look at this big ass parking lot. All of that over there, that's river. That's a riverfront property. Over there is the Tacconi Palmyra Bridge. Over there, that's the Frankfurt Arsenal. That's where, um, you know, pre World War I, they made a lot of arsenals <laughs> in there, a lot of weapon making. I think. I don't know. Uh, but this, see this whole parking lot? Uh, for the past few months, um, the company Carvana, they're like these large, uh, they, it's like a used car dealership. And they sell their cars in like kind of what's like soda machines. Or not soda, vending machines, but they're car vending machines. So this entire parking lot, I've never seen this parking lot empty before. Um, I also, I don't think I've ever been in this part of the parking lot. But, so this entire parking lot used to be full of cars. And before it was Carvana, um, uh, a few years ago, I think it was 24, no, 20, oh, I don't, there was a Volkswagen, a diesel Volks, Volkswagen that was recalled. And, uh, and I think it was because the mileage wasn't as good as they advertised it to be. And um, so for a long time, all of the Volkswagen cars that were recalled, they stayed in this parking lot. Years. It was, it was like maybe two years they were in there. Maybe it was a little bit longer. I saw an article. Go ahead, Rick. You can run. I saw an article in, in, uh, on uh, Twitter <clears throat> that said everybody's uh, perception of time is a little screwed up because of the pandemic and I I, I absolutely agree with that so oh, come here Rick the puppy so yeah they got this great trail along here um, used to be I think it was Roman Haas and then it became Dow Chemical this used to be the employee parking lot um, but yeah it has this great trail I would love to check this out maybe one day um, not now. And then we're having a problem with, uh, people are throwing, uh, boom parties in this parking lot. Or so I hear. I haven't heard them. But what they do, so to prevent people from coming into this parking lot, they put these, uh, cement barriers. But there's no barrier there. Lots of trucks coming down, up and down there. Come here, Rick the puppy. Rick! Come here, bud. You ever see a pit bull smile? Oh, I love you too, Rick the puppy. Come on. So anyway, we're going for a walk. And today, me and Rick the puppy, we're on the other side of Richmond Street. Not really a whole lot of property. Richmond Street is, is right there. Um, Richmond Street's one of the oldest streets in America. Uh, I'm sure some founding fathers traveled on it. Very exciting. But if you go, no, Rick the Puppy, you're not going to kill that dove. But there's a little bit of Bridesburg on the other side of Richmond Street. And I figured we'll walk around there, show you what's going on. This is the neighborhood I live in. I've lived here for... Uh, 20 years um, no 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 I've lived here for no I've lived here for 20 years I lived here for 20 years um, my children have uh, grown up in this neighborhood my daughter's she just turned 21 so she spent all of her life except for like six months in Bridesburg my son's 18 he spent his entire life in Bridesburg and even my stepdaughter, she spent more than half of her life in this neighborhood. Over here, this is Ella's Coffee. They uh, they make coffee. Um, they sell it at, uh, where do I see it at? Uh, ShopRite. I, I never really uh, see it for sale at places. I would probably buy it because it's like my neighborhood coffee plant. There are two coffee, <laughs> talk coffee uh, factories in this neighborhood or not this day there's one in Bridesburg and there's one in Port Richmond um, 
This is the Bridesburg Boys and Girls Club. It's a um, it's like a neighborhood spot for kids to hang out. Come on, Rick the puppy. It's like a little. I think you pay like twenty. You know, it used to be like twenty five bucks a year. Your kids go in there. They have dances. They have uh, after school activities. There's a weight room. My buddy Gary Brown, he does some stuff in there once in a while. Helps out the kids in the neighborhood. Here's an old street. Look at this. Belgian Block Street. And it goes right up to the Delaware River. This here is um, it's a dumpster place. So if you want to rent a dumpster, you, you rent the dumpster from this guy. Diario? Oh, what was the name? He shops at Boyd's. The guy who owns this place shops at Boyd's. Big time money. Boyd's is a clothing store I used to work at where uh, where people uh, buy luxury clothes. You got you got a sport coat. Oh, I would say the cheapest sport coat $700. That's just a sport coat. We ain't talking pants. Yeah, so that must be a tough thing about living on this street is all the trucks that come up and down. This is Garden Street. My buddy Doug lived on this street. It was He had the biggest yard I've ever seen in Bridesburg. It was the best. We would have big bonfires and... Bonfires? Bon. B-O-N. Oh, B-O-M or B-O-N. Bonfires. I think it's B-O-N. Or maybe not. Who cares, right? We have big fires in this backyard and grill. One WrestleMania, right? He has this big ass yard. He goes, "Yeah, let's watch WrestleMania in the backyard." So I was like, "Dude, that sounds like the best day ever." So we spend all day setting up the cable box in the backyard, and we get the TV in there. We start grilling, and then we go to buy the pay per view. And uh, Comcast is like, nah, you can't, you can't order, you owe us some money. We're not going to let you order a pay-per-view. So, uh, we spent, I, I'm telling you, we spent over an hour getting set up. So after we got all that shit set up, we had to, uh, oh, there's a squirrel in the house. Uh-oh. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, this is where Doug lived. Yeah, look how big these yards are. You go all the way back to the sheds there. So yeah, so then, so we have all this beer and food. So then we had to carry all the shit to my house. We almost get arrested because we're, we're carrying open cans of beer. Cop goes, yeah, what are you guys doing? I said, yeah, it's WrestleMania, his cable bill. He had to pay his cable bill. He forgot to do it. So then they were like, um, uh, so the cops were like, well, you can't be drinking in public. And I said, yeah, 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 you know, we're only walking a few blocks. No big deal, right? So the cop goes, just go home. Go home and watch WrestleMania. So then WrestleMania gets over, and now we're drunk. And I said, let's go back to Doug's house and do a big fire. So then there's about another yeah, 15 of us. We're all walking through the neighborhood. Same cop stop by, stops us. Guess what we do? We run. We run. Can't catch us all, copper. He was a young guy, too. He was trying to... Well, you're not supposed to drink in public, but listen. My own a half that way. They're plunging heroin in their necks with needles. Me drop walking around with a... Uh, what were we drinking? We were probably drinking... Mm. I don't know. Coors Light, maybe uh well that sounds too high end for us. I was always a cheap beer guy. Um Natty Ice. Natty Ice was probably my go-to. Get you where you gotta go. Yeah. 
that's how you know you're an alcoholic when you when you look at the alcohol content so 5.9 that was good you pop about three or four of them you're a little buzzed for tonight look at this used to be a house here and these used to be the steps knocked down the house they kept the steps up So we're coming up to the area where uh, the Bridesburg Wreck is. It's the Bridesburg Playground. Brand new pool was put in a few years ago. There's a lady who works in this playground. Her name's Miss Jackie. And she has been working at this playground for, I think for over 60 years. And she, this job is so important. Like, this is what this lady did. She worked here her entire life. She retired. And she still works here. And um, there's like three or four generations of children that, that, had, that have had Miss Jackie. You know, tell them to stop running in the hallway. Looking out for them. That's, that's the wreck she works at. People like that should be celebrated more. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of playgrounds with people who just give and give it to the community. Miss Jackie, actually, that section of Richmond Street back there, there's a street sign. And they named the street of Richmond Street in front of the wreck. They called it, they named it Miss Jackie Way. So... How we doing, Rick the Poppy? We're doing good. It's a beautiful day out. What time are we at? Three o'clock in the afternoon. You having fun? Over here. I don't, I don't know what this building is, but they do some shipping and receiving. Ah, uh, shit. All right, back at it. I'm using... I'm not a big fan of uh, these poopy bags. I don't, I don't like them. Uh, they're too thin. They have a thing in Philadelphia where they banned plastic bags. And uh, so now what a lot of the stores do, I go to Target. Target, they give you, um, they give you a cloth bag there's a supermarket shop right what they do is you have to buy a bag so you have to buy the bags off them now um target what they do is they give you the bag and what they do is they probably add a penny to a few things come here rip the puppy come on bud now come here this way come on there you go good job buddy you're such a big boy such a big boy doing big boy things Lots of fireworks. Uh, the pool's still open. Yeah, this, this almost feels like a September day. It's like um, 70, 78 degrees, if that. Oh, look at that. Is that a Hulk, Rick the Puppy? I think it is a hawk. We do have an eagle that lives down the Delaware River a little bit. That's a big ass bird. Better make sure Stewie the one-eyed chihuahua is in the house. If you have a small ass dog, sometimes that can happen. A big bird come by. Over across the way there's an abandoned lot. It's called Cokies. You know, I I think it used to be a coal company. Like I don't you know, I don't know what the hell Cokies was. I think that's what it was. Let's see if my buddy is in the pool. Gary Brown spends uh, a lot of time here at the pool. He likes to swim. Uh, everybody out. There it is. It's time to get out. We got to add the chlorine to the pool. 
One, two, three, four. Six kids are in the pool. So that's a, uh, a public pool. So that means anybody can go swimming in, uh, in that pool now. Um, yeah, so there's no memberships or anything. Just, they just, they have weird hours. They're only open for a little bit of the day. But that pool was just put in recently. There it is. This is the Bridesburg Rec. We got the basketball. We'll probably need a new basketball court in here soon. A lot of the newer basketball courts have glass backboards. Uh, is that dog in that cage? We don't want to go, Rick the puppy. Let's go this way. So you see this sand? They use this sand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That sand is for the preschool that they have in this uh, um, this building. They do preschool. They do a lot of things in this building. AA, they have AA. They have uh, yoga classes. They have uh, tumbling classes, preschool, all types of stuff. Uh, so anyway, that they use that as like the neighborhood sandbox. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on, come on. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh no. You put the, put the, you know, grab the leash of the dog, he would stop following us. Pretty easy. New business just opening up in Bridesburg. This is the uh, Need Cafe, Callie's Kitchen. I don't know. I haven't gone in there yet, but I do know my stepdaughter goes there so much. There's a goddamn plant named after her. So she goes, oh, they named a plan after me at the cafe. I said, what cafe? She goes, oh, the new coffee shop. I said, why would they? She goes, oh, I go there every day. I get a nice coffee. I said, nice coffee from there. How much are they? Probably like $10,000. I said, what? $10,000? Or not. I don't know what it was. It could have been $3, and I would have acted outraged. Um, but uh, so I said, look, I'll, I'll make you a pot of coffee. You can just put the ice cubes in. We'll save you the money. Uh-oh. -uh. Sure. Come on, Rick the puppy. There he is. Oh, oh, he likes it. Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> there it is, Rick the puppy. Greeting young children. Yeah, Rick the puppy's really good with people. Not chihuahuas. He, he, I have a chihuahua. And Rick the Puppy's a killer pit bull. And my chihuahua used to have two eyes. And then he got into a fight with Rick the Puppy. And Rick the Puppy, like, his mouth was like vice grips. And it popped his eye. Like, he bit down on Stewie. Get out of the grass, Rick the Puppy. And, uh... He uh, popped Stewie's eyeball out of his head. That's nice. Yeah, so we went in there looking for Ghost one day. Uh... And, uh, yeah, we, uh, shockingly, we didn't find ghosts. Um, I think it has something to do with, uh, ghosts not existing. Um, there's some pretty, they got some old signs. And if you go across on the angle, there's the, uh, Bridesburg Yacht Club. Um, I don't know how many yachts are in the Bridesburg Yacht Club, but I was there once. The rule is you can, you can hang out at the Yacht Club, but you have to store a boat there, right? 
and your boat has to be able to travel back and forth from the Taconi Bridge to the Betsy Ross Bridge. And if your boat can do that, they will uh, uh, let you have a boat at the Yacht Club. It's a lot of property. So you see, there's a lot of like, you know, we started off the thing at the parking lot where there's nothing, and then we just went to Cokie's where there's nothing. And then you got these little streets. Now these street, there's a street here. I don't know, I think this is Garden Street. I could be wrong. So there's a street here, if you notice, this street goes uh, south. Let's keep it going. Yeah, they go south. And then the street next to us goes south. So the only street you can go north on in the Bridesburg is uh, Richmond Street out of these three streets. Uh, sometimes traffic gets so bad on the street ahead of us, that street's Orthodox Street, that people drive the wrong direction down this street. Like it, it, I don't know if it happens every day, but I, I've definitely driven the wrong way down this street. There's a sticker for, uh, there's Crickwater. Crickwater, that's where I host Quizzo every Wednesday night for not doing anything on Wednesday night. Meet me at Crickwater Saloon and in this neighborhood, Bridesburg. Half price appetizers, two dollar domestic cans. Very, very, very exciting. Every Wednesday night. Oh, you know what? I've been doing it for a year now. It's my one year anniversary this Wednesday night. Oh shit, that means I should make something special. I write each and every one of my quizzo games. So if you own a bar, or if you have a friend that owns a bar, or even a business, and you want to have a two-hour event with Quizzo, hit me up. Let me know. I get a, I, uh, I'm looking for a few other spots to do it. Very exciting. Quiet, right? It's a quiet neighborhood. When I moved here 20 years ago, I moved here because it was quiet. The neighborhood I grew up in was Port Richmond. And that's the next neighborhood south of here. Uh, we were looking at houses in Port Richmond. But I thought um, Bridesburg was a little bit nicer than Port Richmond at the time. Especially the school. I think the school was a big reason why I chose Bridesburg. Richmond School in Port Richmond's okay, but uh, Bridesburg School, I'm telling you, for a neighborhood school in the city, you can't get much better. There's also a charter school, two charter schools. Up ahead, there's a Franklin Town grade school, and then there's a Franklin Town High School, not too, uh, not too far from one another. And then there's a, uh, what's it called, Maritime. And their whole thing is they, uh, they teach you stuff about nautical stuff to get people into uh, maritime stuff, make people into boats and shit. Uh, my daughter went there, and uh, yeah, she has nothing to do with boats. So. Cold design. I gotta talk to somebody. I gotta make some Philly Captain merch locally. And, uh, I don't want a t-shirt or make a hat. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're doing something. They got that big thing of dirt. They're leveling off ground. I know if you go down this street all the way to the end, there's a bus depot. Now, from here, from Richmond Street all the way to Delaware Ave, it's about a half a mile, so I'm not walking that far. I don't feel like doing that right now. 
especially I think I'm going to be walking my uh, grandson after I walk here. So, um, back at the, at the end of that street, they're going to be building um, a park. It's going to be a park for uh, the residents of this neighborhood. So it's just going to get nicer. They're building more trails. Um, and there's a lot. Like, it From here, from this all the way down to the river, there's a lot of industrial things, trucks, appliances getting crushed, uh, bus stops, bus, bus companies. Um, Uh oh! <laughs> That's a first. Yo, call me when you get your phone! <laughs> that, uh, that brought, that makes me so happy. parking garage actually I think this might be the only parking garage in uh, Bridesburg Franklin town I tell you know what they did to me one time my kid went to school here and I had to write a report for work and uh so I said, all right, you know what I'll do? I'll pop in, I'll watch my kid perform, and then I'll get out and I'll watch the, I'll go home and write my report. Yo, they wouldn't let us leave. I was like, yo, you, I don't think you can fucking make me stay. Like, no, you can't leave. Once you're in, you got to stay and watch for the other kids. I said, well, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette real quick. I got to make a phone call. I'm like, no. I was like, what? Fuck this. And I think it was the Christmas one. So, I don't, I, I, I have a, I hate uh, Christmas pageants because they, no matter what Christmas pageant you go to, uh, they always sing the 12 Days of Christmas. And let me ask you, do you like the song, the 12 Days of Christmas? I know the answer. No. No, you don't because nobody does. Nobody likes the 12 Days of Christmas. So, uh, so yeah, so it was a Christmas, and he got stuck for the 12 days of Christmas. It takes fucking half an hour to sing. Fuck, I hate that. So I think we should, uh, as, as a society, we should uh, think about eliminating the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, it's like a nice parking lot. These houses are... These houses are new, newish, but not as new as this uh, school. This school was new. Everything in the, I think we're looking at here, last 10, 15 years. Before it was a school, there was like a parking lot, real long parking lot, and I think there was a beer distributor and like a Bobo supermarket, I think. And uh, I, right when I moved around here is when the supermarket shut down and then the beer distributor shut down. There are one, two, three, four cemeteries in Bridesburg. And uh, one, two, I don't, I think three of them are closed or full. Is that what they do when they get full? But this built, this one here, I think it's Hep Holy Sepulcher or Holy Redeemer. Uh, this is like the main cemetery in Bridesburg. I don't think I would want to get buried in Bridesburg. I don't want to get buried anyway, I don't think.
one thing I learned from doing this channel is if you get buried, right? You can get buried in a cemetery. Oh, let me go across here. Um, there's no guarantee that that cemetery is going to be in business 10 years later, five years later. There are cemeteries that are open now in the city that are so poorly run that it takes people six months to get buried. It's outrageous. Uh, there's a cemetery out in uh, West Philly near Maniunk. Now, is it West Philly? No, no. North Philly near Maniunk. There's a cemetery. The lady who did the commercial, I fallen and I can't get up. That lady? So she died in like 96. And her, the, so that was what? 06 to 25 years ago? Cemetery's a shithole. Can't even find their grave. You can't find anybody's grave. And matter of fact, I made a video in that cemetery. You can see coffins, uh, urns. It's pretty, uh, It's uh, what was it called? Mount Vernon Cemetery. The worst cemetery in America, I called it. So if you want to watch that. So I'm going to do something controversial. Um, this was like the biggest debate in the history of Bridesburg. So this, this cemetery is like, sorry, this block is like the longest block in the neighborhood. It's, it's, uh, oh, I don't know. It might be a quarter of a mile long. So a lot of people do this. They'll, uh, they'll walk their dogs, um, on this part of the cemetery in the street and people get mad because they think people are walking their dogs on the graves and dogs are shitting on the graves when most people who walk their dogs they just walk in the street here go ahead and then a lot of people also use this street to cut through to get to other streets in Bridesburg. Um, the street up ahead of us, Orthodox Street, goes the opposite direction. So you'll see a lot of the cars go this way. Former baseball, former Philly players buried in here. Um, if you lived in Port Richmond, there was a baseball organization called the Port Richmond Tigers. Uh, they were founded by a gentleman named Keith Daly. And Keith's buried in the cemetery, a few cemeteries down, and he, uh, um, he's also buried with his son, Sean Daly, who was murdered, I think it's over 30 years now, and, um, um, Sean Daly's buried there. There's a softball tournament still held in Port Richmond in memory of Sean, a Sean Daly softball tournament. Yeah, I, uh, so I remember a few years ago, there was old, it was a big, uh, it was a, it was a Facebook page, a neighborhood Facebook page in Bridesburg, and everybody was going back and forth about, should you have your dogs walk in the street, shouldn't you have your dogs walk in the street, and, uh, I tell you, it was the most interesting <laughs> back and forths people were having. Uh, I guess I don't walk my dog on the grass, and I don't see what's the bad part of walking your dog in a place where a car can drive. I mean, people say it's uh, sacred. Um, hey, man, what's up? Man? People say it's uh, like sacred land, but I don't know. He's riding his bike. And what's the difference? Sometimes Rick will shit on this side of the fence, but you know, but I'll clean. You know, it does. It doesn't matter. It's it's all fun. It's all fun and games. It's not what. It's all fun and games. All right. What do you think, Rick the puppy? You doing good? Yeah. In this cemetery, one. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, 
So it's like nine blocks of just cemetery. So I really, I mean, it's, it's a pretty, uh, um, like it's a lot of space that nobody uses. Except, you know, the dead people. My buddy lives on one of these streets. And uh, sometimes if you park your car, like he lives in the houses somewhere around there. Not, not on the street exactly, but one of the streets. So sometimes there's no parking in front of your houses. So you'll have to park your car down here near the cemetery. And uh, sometimes uh, your car, your cars get broken into. Um, occasionally you see people doing drugs over here or guys have hookers. Um, Cause there's nobody around at this spot. So if you ever park your car around here, just be careful, lock your doors. That's a, that is a problem. It's a problem in this neighborhood. Um, a lot of people, uh, they'll do this thing where they're like two o'clock in the morning, there'll be some no good nicks coming around. And what they do is they check the handles. They'll pull on the door handles to see if the car doors unlock. And they'll pull it open, and they'll walk around, open it again, go in your car, and take your shit. They won't take your CDs. CDs are worth nothing. And uh, they, will, they will leave your CDs in the car if you're worried about your CDs. All right, well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Go with Jesus.